Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and we continue with our topic of discussion and uh, we are discussing the topic of uh, reproduction in plants and animals. So at this stage we are discussing the sexually transmitted infections in humans and so far we have already discussed gonorrhea, uh, syphilis and trichomoniasis whereby we saw that uh, gonorrhea and uh, syphilis are caused by bacteria while trichomoniasis is caused by a protozoan known as trichomonas vaginalis. So we're going to look at the fourth uh, sexually transmitted infection and this is candidiasis. Uh, candidiasis, uh, this is a is a fungal disease is a fungal disease that means that it's caused by a fungus caused by a yeast like it looks like yeast yeast like fungus candida albicans so we have a fungus called candida albicans which looks like yeast and uh, this yeast or this yeast like fungus grows mainly on the genitalia of both sexes so most common is uh, candida is vaginal candidiasis affecting the urethra in males and vaginal tract in females causing itching and discharge transmission mainly by sexual intercourse mainly transmitted by sexual intercourse <coughs> of course with infected people and it can also be transferred from the bowel to the reproductive tract So this particular disease is one that can uh, can just subside without any treatment but uh, the challenge comes in when the population of this particular fungus go beyond a certain level as a result of maybe killing the bacteria uh, that is found along the reproductive tract so the bacteria that is uh, 
found along the reproductive tract is the one that checks the population of this fungus so that it is kept at a certain level. Otherwise, if it is at a low level, it doesn't cause any symptoms. However, if the population of the fungus goes beyond a certain level, uh, then it means that uh, uh, the symptoms of the disease will be witnessed. Then in terms of uh, control and treatment, avoid sexual intercourse with infected people. That is common control measure to all the diseases that we are discussing here. Um, also, avoid use of medicated soaps. on the reproductive tract because those medicated soaps kill the bacteria that is normally found in the human body and that bacteria is the one that is very important in checking the growth of this particular fungus. So that is one of the control measures avoid medicated soaps and antiseptics and antiseptics on the reproductive tract also uh, people should wipe themselves from the front backwards to prevent introducing the fungus to prevent introducing the fungus from the boil so the fungus sometimes it, it can be found within the digestive system so if a person has visited the washrooms and they are wiping themselves uh, from the back to the front, then it may end up getting to the reproductive system. So that's again another control measure that should be taken. Then we have number five. Uh, number five, we have hepatitis. Uh, this is an inflammation of the liver. This one is a, a liver disease. It doesn't mainly affect the reproductive tract, but it is sexually transmitted as well. It's an inflammation of the liver due to damage of the liver cells. The cause is caused by a virus. So this one is viral. Which is either hepatitis type A or type B. So those are the most common uh, types of hepatitis. We have hepatitis virus type A and type B. Type B is the most common. Most common in adults which causes the symptoms such as jaundice, the yellowing 
of the skin so that's uh, one of the symptoms that may be observed control and prevention avoid indiscriminate sex so it's transmitted via sexual intercourse avoid contact with body fluids e.g. saliva blood semen all those are various modes by which the transmission can be done screening of blood before transmission and any other method that uh, ensures that the body fluids do not come into contact with each other so hepatitis is mainly prevent you you mainly prevent because it has no cure or it's very difficult to to treat uh, also can be controlled by use of vaccines especially in children so there is a certain vaccine in children that is administered to uh, to prevent hepatitis especially type b Six, we have another STI, sexually transmitted disease, and this one is caused by a virus. Herpes simplex virus. Our transmission. is by sexual intercourse and with this uh, particular disease uh, the body develops immunity or it develops what we call partial immunity after one has been attacked by this particular uh, virus so the best is uh, prevention and control is by avoiding indiscriminate sex with infected people so having looked at uh, those diseases So the first question in the assignment what is the cause agent of a candidiasis b hepatitis and c herpes and two explain how partial immunity is developed after attack by herpes so we'll stop there until next time goodbye <music>